Welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for some standard ranked matches today. There is a prize for getting to at least platinum, I believe, maybe diamond, not exactly sure which one, getting somewhere on the ladder where you get a 3D Vrass's Contempt at the end of the month. We're halfway through the month right now. I uh, haven't really played any ranked matches yet, so I'm going to go ahead and do that today and play three different decks that I like quite a bit uh, that I think can have some success on the ladder and try them out and see how far we get up. Okay, so it's Platinum, and it's Platinum before Diamond. So I'm, I'm currently starting this ranking today just right inside of gold. So we're starting at gold tier four and going from here. Um, that ends in 14 days. The first deck that we're gonna be playing today is Simic Midrange. This is basically kind of an amalgamation of some different Simic decks that I have, uh, where I've, I've had some Simic decks that are kind of built around different uh, cards that they're trying to uh, really showcase but if we're just trying to win and trying to put together the best Simic deck we can, I really like what this deck is doing. And so I kind of took like my favorite cards from like three different Simic decks and have them in here. So we have the Explore package, which we know is really good, of course. We have our Fast Mana with the Land Werewolves and Incubation Druid. And so we're basically trying to start a getting ahead. So we're trying to get ahead of our opponent with the Fast Mana and the Explore package that helps us hit land drops. And so then we get a lot of mana uh, between our, our mana creatures and our explore creatures. And with all that ex excess mana, we can either lock down our opponent with Frilled Mystics, cast Vivian's to get more creatures, because Vivian is an awesome Planeswalker, and I think it's worth having four because it's just such a good card. Or, you know, find Hydra Crisis that just draw a bunch of cards and, you know, kind of lock the opponent out of the game. We also have our one removal spell with Entrancing Melody. It's a quality removal spell over here. Carnage Tyrant is another good top end finisher that a lot of decks struggle with. Sideboard wise, we got some counter spells for control. We got Harpooners for Mono Blue and Drakes. We got Crushing Canopy for Mono Blue, Drakes, and Wilderness Reclamation. Uh, Thrashing Brontodon for Wilderness Reclamation and Mono Red. Ripjaw Raptor for aggro decks. It's a good brick wall and mass manipulation when we're playing against Sultai. Um, may want another mass manipulation here. I could see Sultai giving us a little bit of trouble. I mean, they're basically doing the same kind of stuff. The main thing that they have that's awesome against us is Hostage Taker. Uh, us versus Sultai. Well, it's kind of... I guess they have two things. Like we, Us versus Sultai is kind of like Frilled Mystic versus Hostage Taker, basically. But the other thing they have is Find Finality as well. And Find is some really good card advantage. We do have like the melodies, which are kind of similar to Hostage Takers, so we can steal their things too. So it's, you know, it's kind of like a 50 50 ish mirror. So that's what we have um, for today. So let's go ahead and start uh, playing a few ranked matches and seeing how it goes. So we're going to go Simic Midrange. So we'll play. Uh, usually, usually I like doing the constructed leagues. I like how that uh, format is uh, built for streaming. How you can play until you get five wins, two losses. You pay gold for an entry fee and win gold, uh, depending on how you do. And I like to play the, as many of those as possible and win gold to be able to use whenever a new set comes out. Then you know, once we acquire a lot of gold, you use those gold on new packs for the next set and so on. The ranked matches here, you don't really have a lot of... You don't really win very much except for your bragging rights, really. Uh, the prizes aren't, aren't too good for, like, the time that you put into it. But you don't, you don't also have to pay the 1,000 gold to enter the events also. But um, right now we are definitely wanting the 3D of Rass's Contempt. And we're going to play a few ranked matches today. So these, these next three decks are the ones that we're playing for our ranked matches. Simic Midrange, Grixis Discard, and Orzhov Angels. They're three decks that I've been playing recently um, that I've been having good success with that uh, I want to try on the ladder.
All right, looks like likely Grixis midrange. Could certainly be a Grixis control, but it's more likely that it's a midrange deck. And I want to try to expand my mana. Jade Light does help us hit land drops. Jade Light was the other consideration. I was not playing Wild Growth Walker here. Best case scenario is next turn we draw a land and we can go Wild Growth plus Jade Light, or we can go Vivian. Perfect. Wild and draw and fire. And so yeah, just getting rid of the Wild Growth Walker. It, it's you know like probably not that big of a deal of having a Wild Growth Walker or not in this matchup. All right, so we'll steal the, the Phoenix. The wilds are my shield. Yoink. Oh, you're welcome, Furious Fred. Yeah, there's only one constructed ranking, whether you play best of one or best of three. It's this, it, You have the same ranking. For my freedom. <laughs> <Of difference. laughs> Every All right. defeat is a new beginning. You get your You can have your Phoenix. Alright, Carney T. Coming down. All right, so Mass Manipulation seems like it'll probably be a pretty good card here. Same with Disdainful Stroke. So they're going to be playing Hostage Taker, Rekindling Phoenix, Nickel Bolas, all that kind of stuff. I'm not sure how much I actually want Negate, honestly. Let's see. I don't want Wild Growth Walker. I guess I'm playing one negate. How does this look? Because the reason why I don't like Wild Growth Walker here is because it doesn't really gain any value on its own. It can just be a big creature that gains some life. But our life total isn't as important in this matchup. Could certainly be playing, you know, like crushing canopies, harpooners, things like that to kill flyers. They're not very good against Phoenix, but they are good against Bolas. But I kind of want to just keep Melodies and Mass Manipulation for those things. Maybe I'll play, maybe I should play a Canopy instead of a Negate. The other card to maybe cut here would be Incubation Druid. But I think it's important that we have all these mana creatures, honestly. I'm going to keep it like this for now. I don't, I don't have all of my removal possible in for flyers. I think I do need elves. I think getting out in front mana-wise is important. And having elves and druids make... Melody a whole lot better. And now we can have Frilled Mystic already on turn three. So we'll either cast Frilled Mystic or activate Incubation Druid here. One of those two. Hmm. 
Do we have to? Oh, that was worst case scenario. Disdainful stroke there. That was a worst case scenario. Hey, what's up, Sculpted Mind? Thanks for that tier one sub. All right, sub-bell countdown down to 132. Yeah, that was a great turn there. Great turn. Uh, sorry to hear that, Gronked. But you're you're improving. You just need to play three more, right? Because then you've been three two, and then four two, and then you would have got the five wins. Here be monsters. Right, so I, I'm pretty glad my opponent's freedom. just doing that. <laughs> I guess we'll see price. if they. Spend more mana, actually. I guess if they play just another removal spell... Okay, that's that's good. Because now we get to kill Angrath. And so I, I am pretty glad that we get to kill Angrath here. Hmm. We get to kill Bolas also. How this that can't help you now. That worked out well. Ram a new course free. Yeah, the deck's not an easy one to play, Gromped. It's it's a pretty tough one to play, and the games are usually really close, so it's it's definitely a, a kind of deck that if a couple small things go go wrong, that could turn into losses for sure. Alright, there's gotta be a Hydro Crisis up Meet in here, right? My newest friend. There, there it is. Okay, so we have uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 11, 12 mana, so we can do 10. And that's what our mana creatures can do. They can get us a lot of mana. That's why we're playing 4 Vivian, 4 Krasis. Likely have counter Not magic. Again. So what do I want to get countered? I think I want melody countered. Really, you're just gonna tap four islands deck. Would you? This is nothing. So I want uh, Vivian to resolve. There we go. All right, we are one zero with Simic mid range. G G. Love so cold. Actually, I'm just kind of going with the Kaya avatar. I'm feeling the Kaya avatar right now. I know it's not a, I know Kaya is not a Simic avatar, but 
Just feeling the Kai Avatar. All right, love this opener. What do we got going on over there with your island? It's a pretty good looking island. Maybe a Wellness Reclamation deck? Reclamation for you. And Frill Mystic is so good. So this is not lethal. Not quite yet. Just in case one bounce spell. Okay, I'm just going to be patient. You know, like if I if I cast the frilled mystic there, and they have sinister sabotage to counter the frilled mystic, maybe something can go wrong for us. I'm not sure what, but maybe something can go wrong. Because then they could like untap wilderness reclamation, start um, casting a bunch of nexuses and and things like that. So 
being very patient. This, this deck I'm playing is a deck I made. I played it one other time a, a few days ago. Like this specific deck. And there we go. That's it. If they would have had like the fog immediately, I would have definitely considered it Frilled Mystic now because we already know they're out of a couple counter spells. So we get all the negates, disdainful strokes, canopies, brontodon. All of that kind of stuff. Wild Growth Walker is the card that's definitely out. And probably Carnage Tyrant 2. Yeah, Carnage Tyrant 2. Oh, these melodies. Biotenicus can be a problem, though. You know, with like what I have going on right here. I don't think Carnage Time really helps against Biogenicus. It's basically, do I want to, like, keep Melody... <clears throat> do I want to keep some kind of Melody mass manipulation in for Biogenicus? Crisis I'm not worried about, because, you know, like, we have, like, Canopies and Vivians that kill Crisis. And we can still fly over Ooze with our Crisis. And we have Disdainful Stroke for it also. I think we would... We're up a game. I think we keep it like this and see what they got. All right, so I'm going with Druid on turn two, not keeping the gate up. So bad news is the opponent has as Kanta. Good news is since it wasn't Growth Spiral, there's no Reclamation this turn. All right, that was a test. Yeah, Oketra looks really strong. Every creature you play, you get a 4-4. Four, four. I like playing creatures. Uh, sorry to hear that, Rex. Definitely wanted this land drop here so I could have played Vivian and killed the Ascanta. I think I want to look for lands. Lands are crushing canopy. Crushing canopy wouldn't be so bad. I mean, I guess I, I'm only going to have access to six mana next turn. I wouldn't be able to canopy plus for old Mystic yet. I'm 
Okay, so they thought quite a while over that land. Good. That's good. Not Reclamation. That's good. I get to kill this as Canter right now before it flips next turn. Let's tear this place. <laughs> get that out of here. Yeah, I watched episode one of season eight last night. It was real good. I can't believe there's only five episodes left. There's still so much to happen in the show. You can't stop nature. Um... Alright, we'll have a bigger crisis. Deliver unto evil. Um, I don't... I don't know if that card will see play, really. It's... You know, if you if you have a Bolas Planeswalker out, then you know it's it's awesome. But without a Bolas Planeswalker, it's like your your opponent gets to choose two cards for you to draw. I don't know. You only have 60 spots in a standard deck. You know, there's also sideboard, obviously, but I'm not I'm not sure that Deliver Unto Evil is going to make standard decks. Yeah, the art's kind of like a... It looks kind of like a throwback. It, it reminded me of, like, an old card. You know, like, it looks a whole lot different from, like, Commence the End Game that we saw today, for example. You know, it seemed like Deliver Unto Evil was, like, art that you'd see in, like, earlier days of Magic kind of thing. Yeah, I saw Huatli. I like Huatli. No reclamation, please. If they do have a reclamation and untap to us, I'm probably just going to kill my Vivian to kill the reclamation. Or as Kanta, same thing. <laughs> hey, Nerd Rage and KZ. Sometimes restoration means retribution. So I do have two Furled Mystics available right now. I can spend five mana activating Incubation Druid so that I have one Furled Mystic available. I'd want to do that right now. I don't want to, like, pass... If I'm going to be activating Incubation Druid, I don't want to pass turn. Because I don't want to go to their end step and then activate Incubation Druid on their end step. I think that's, like, a common mistake. Because then, if I do that, then they can respond by playing, you know, like, Next to Fate or whatever. I don't... You know, whatever they're going to play at, like, Instant Speed. So I think it's either just... Incubation Druid right now, and then pass. 
or just pass and have two of these available. I think those are the two options. And I'm, I'm going to pass and have two available. Yeah, it looks like y'all agreed with the the passing. So if they go to Sinister Sabotage this, that should be lethal, right? Yep. All right, we're 2-0. Do you think a Super Friends deck with Nicol Bolas, Dragon God, and Elder Spell might be competitive or just a meme? No, that could certainly be competitive. Absolutely. I'm not sure what the OTK means there. I don't know what that is. But, yes. I think you definitely could play Nicol Bolas and Elder Spell in Standard. This is going to be a problem. They did miss a land drop, though. Gives us a little bit of hope. So, yeah, you're saying a one-turn kill. I mean, I think you can just play a deck with both of those cards, and if that ever comes up, that's great. But, you know, you don't have to focus on, on that solely. No, I mean I have I have three removal spells for the Miss Cloak Herald with I have three entrancing melodies in here. Do have, you know, the four Vivians that can get rid of the Curious Obsession as well. But uh, the other thing we can do is like have wild growth walkers with the explore stuff to gain life. Of course we have to draw all that kind of stuff. Hey, Nerd Rage, thanks for that tier one sub. You are amazing. Thank you so much. My favorite card of all time is Courser of Crufix. Um, it's a good blocker. It's an enchantment creature, which that's pretty cool. It gets to... Uh, it gains life, which I like gaining life, and it hits, lets you play lands from your, from your library. That's really cool. Oh, 
Those are not good cards. It's a it's a creature that's also an enchantment. So you can use like a you know a disenchant effect would be able to kill it. What? That's rude. Why can't I find my melodies? So they draw a land where we die, and they draw a land, and we die. No, I don't play modern anymore, Pineapple Monster. Just standard. All right, so Harpooners, Crushing Canopies, and Negates. A lot of good things to bring in there. Um, and yeah, I want to keep Melody. Huh. We don't have anything like super bad to cut here. Frilled Mystics are going to come out because they're just, you know, a four mana counter spell. Like, that's pretty expensive. The other things are like Vivian and Carnage Tyrants are are our other expensive cards to maybe cut. Um, Carnage Tyrant's just really good in this matchup, though, with it being uncounterable. We can slow them down. And if we have Vivian resolve, it takes over. And Vivian, you know, finds Krasis and Harpooners and stuff. Definitely cutting at least two Vivian. Like this, this gets down to sixty-three. I don't really have anything else to cut though. So like, I mean, I I could obviously cut mana creatures, but I I don't think that's really what what to. Uh... The problem is, yeah, Carnage Tyrant. If they have, I mean, if they already have their flyers, Carnage Tyrant's not gonna not gonna win. I think I would rather have a Vivian than a Carnage Tyrant. That's close, though. Vivian can resolve. Yeah, I mean, we have a lot of interaction to help Vivian resolve. And usually we can get a lot of mana. It's not it's not impossible to have Vivian resolve. Not at all. Go, Jay, let go. Hmm. Um. Yeah. I like four three Jade Light. Gets to attack through a Tempest Gen. works. So we know our Jade Light's not going to get countered. It's good. Yeah. Keep these 4-3 Jade Lights. I like it. Ooh, no land drops over there. I should tap Land War off here. Easier to have Negate available. Because now that now they get to they could trickster my Land War Elf. Okay, well we'll just counter this.
Is bowls too expensive at $35? Maybe not, honestly. I don't know. You know, being three colors means you, you know, that really shortens the amount of decks you can actually get played in. But it's going to have quite a bit of casual appeal as well. Alright, now on the draw, it is going to be harder to resolve Vivian on the draw, for sure. Would I rather have Carnage Tyrant or Vivian? Hmm. Well, Rex says that nobody plays Grixis competitively. I would not say what people do right now to what people will be doing next format. Y'all y'all like Carnage Tyrant? No. Like, basically, if my opponent has a Tempest Gen in play, then Carnage Tyrant's not going to do anything, because their Tempest Gen's going to kill us faster than a Carnage Tyrant will kill them. And so it's like... Why do I want to play the six mana creature that doesn't beat their three mana creature? Vivian at least, you know, that's not real. Vivian can get countered, of course, but Vivian can kill the Tempest Gen. Yeah, the deck is up on Stream Decker. Um, did I not update the commands? Okay, it's not letting me do the command thing. Which is weird. Alright, one, one second. There we go. Now commands updated. Yes, Vivian is bad versus dive down too, but if they have Tempest Gin and dive down, Carnage Tyrant's not beating that anyway. But at least at least Vivian can beat just Tempest Gin. Neither card beats Tempest Gen plus Dive Down. All right, good. No counter spell for the incubation druid. Good. Yeah, definitely considering saving canopy. The kind of problem with using canopy at the at the end of their turn is they even if they don't counter it, like them being able to attack then turns on charter course kind of thing. Um
So now we can Canopy on their turn, and then untap and have Entrancing Melody plus Crushing Canopy. So, choosing not to do it on upkeep so they don't attack with Trickster. Oh. Or they attack with Trickster. They have Melody for two to steal my Druid. That's annoying. So three, six. So still can only double spell. If we take their creature with the Curious Obsession, remember, the Curious Obsession is not ours. The Curious Obsession is still theirs. So, I mean, we're doing okay here on the battlefield, but they still have four cards in hand. Now we're not doing okay anymore. Melody's good. Yeah, we would destroy their Curious Obsession. Yeah, basically like the the Curious Obsession would just get would just fall off kind of thing. Let this happen. Okay. Ugh. Deck. Need that Hydra Crisis. Or our own Entrancing Melody. Get this Druid back. Take an Explore Creature, a Krasis. Take a Harpooner. It's close. We are really close to dying. Lots of things kill us. Hmm. 
No. Uh. Just didn't have the gas. Couldn't find a like a crisis to to refill. That entrancing melody, stealing my my three five. <clears throat> we need our Vivian to find Krasis. But Ugh. All right, so 2 and 1 now with Simic Midrange. And I'd like to keep this hand. Blood Crypt. Is this Grixis? Maybe, I guess it's an aggro deck that kept a one lander. Was this like a Mardu aggro? What kind of aggro deck is going to be getting played over here? It's an aggro deck. I'd probably want to just cut the Frilled Mystics for these things. It's like a Mardu aggro. Could just, you know, play straight up again. And, you know, have a, a better game in case it is Grixis control. I'll just play straight up. Could be Grixis that kept one land with Thought Erasure. Doesn't seem like a good keep, but. Basically, keeping this because we are. We got a free game, and it is Grixis. Carnage Tyrant is awesome against Grixis. Well, if they so, you're asking why? Saying why would a why would they auto concede game one like that? Well, they had. They were on the draw, so they had eight cards in hand, so they would have had... If they didn't have their second land drop, they would have had to discard, and then them discarding lets me know more about their deck. I know we're only cycling that, but I need my next land drop. Yeah, we found them all. We couldn't find these against Mono Blue. That that other game when we need to get a big flyer and refill. We got them all now, though. Definitely killing this bolus because it can transform next turn uh, with a land drop because they have the land war elves. And yes, they get they can kill my Vivian now by killing the Krasis, but at least we got the bolus out of there. That's certainly important. You don't understand why my so my opponent took the elf, so I don't get to cast a Krasis. Or sorry, so I don't get to cast the Carnage Tyrant the next turn. Um, or so I don't get to. 
uh, play a create a four four crisis. Like that was a that was a smart play taking the Llanowar Elf. And plus, they also get to cast the Llanowar Elf immediately. That was the right target. So they can get back Bolas and flip Bolas. You're welcome, Duck. I don't think they're getting back Vivian. I think it's going to be Bolas. Which I guess I guess I should have kept Land World. I should have kept Land World in hand because of Bolas actually. That that was definitely a mistake by me. I played that just quickly. <clears throat> I think I'm I'm honestly really surprised my opponent is not getting Bolas, but I think I should have kept the Land World in hand. You know, we drew the forest, we have the six mana. Come to me. They can have Vivian kill a Krasis, flip Bolas, have Bolas kill a Krasis, be able to hit me with Thief. We'll see if Carnage Tyrant can win this. They had the other Bolas, so definitely got punished for playing that Land Werewolf. That was a that was a bad play by me, playing that Land Werewolf. Yeah, we should have the entire set for War of the Spark up on Friday. So this is the last couple days here for the rest of the cards of the set. And then in 10 days, we're going to have War of the Spark on Arena. No one said restoration was painless. What are you doing over there? Nikki B. The 
dead shall serve me. What happens after war is on? Uh, we're, you'll just have the cards available from Lore of the Spark as well. They'll be legal and standard also. All right, so cutting all these wild growth walkers. Do I want to cut a branch walker? I'm playing Thief also. I think I want... So I'm playing and uh, Eldest Reborn. I, I want a couple more of these Crushing Canopies. Yeah, you can cast a Sorcerer as an instant with Electro Dominance. You can cast Creatures as well at instant speed with the card. That card's pretty strong. I am a little surprised that card has not seen any more play. All right. Turn three is going to be a little tough. Whether we will want to play Jade Light or hold up Frilled Mystic. All right. Looks like I'm playing Jade Light. I think. Okay. Now we definitely are. That's unfortunate. Two good cards, especially the Vivian, having to put in the graveyard. But that's why I'm playing for Vivians. It's a good hand for the opponent. Good curve. One, two, three. See if they have more removal for this crisis. Hopefully not. That's the worst possible card there. All right, so I'm just gonna melody the thief, but then they get to play a crisis. Good news is they are at ten. They've had to do a lot of shocking to be able to have this kind of curve. Doesn't feel great getting your stuff stolen, does it? So now, if they want to, if they want to play Crisis, though, we can kill the Crisis and hit them with Thief. So they have five cards in hand still. No lands over there. That's kind of bad for me if there's no lands. That's kind of bad for me with no lands. I'll take that back. Thank you. <laughs> it's a meta play. Thieving a thief. That should be game. I don't think they can... I don't think they have anything that can keep them alive since they're at one. All right, we are three and one now.
takes a little time to to level up. You know, like we're three and one. That's that's really strong, and we're only up. You know, like basically two spots. You know, with the losses canceling out wins, take some time to level up. Ugh. Oh, she says, hey, Todd, I got to Mythic yesterday and without touching blue, used two brews, Naya Visitation to gold one, and then Mardu Angels after that. Got lots of, got lots of inspiration from your card choices. Thanks. Alder 2, that is awesome. Congratulations, first. That is not easy, and uh, way to go. Um, in this deck, I, yeah, I think we have 24, right? Yeah, 24 lands here in this deck. So it looks like Sultai here. This is, uh, like we talked about at the very beginning, Sultai is kind of 50-50-ish for us. Um, you know, we're real similar decks. This specific time looks like Looks like they're going to win, you know, being on the play with Llanowar Elf in this curve. I don't think we're winning this one. Hey, what's up, Dirk? It's kind of that's what it is. It's like who gets the fast start and everything. And it looks like the opponent has it, so... So I'm going to steal their Elf. Should have just played a breeding pool last turn. I don't know why I didn't do that. And yeah, they can steal their elf back, but now they don't have a crisis for the Jade Light, so that's good. Yeah, it's tough to do not touching blue in standard. Blue is the best color in standard. So, yeah, not touching blue is, is certainly the hardest. You know, besides just playing, like, a, a one-color deck or anything. Like, if you're going to play a variety of, de of decks, not playing any blue would be the hardest out of any color not to play. removal take her contempt and cast down they did what we've been doing here you know getting that turn two four three and just riding that to victory so we've done plenty of times in this leagues can't be too mad at that all right so manipulation disdainful stroke coming on in and i'll just take wild growth walker out Yeah, so I'm gonna take out Wild Growth Walkers, bring in a mani manipulation, a negate, and a couple of disdainful strokes. Hey, release the Kraken. That's good, Nero. I like not hating any deck. That's good. <laughs> I agree. If you have to hate something, though, hate Wilma's Reclamation. You gotta hate something. I mean, if we hit land drops, this is good. It's pretty risky, though. Hmm. 
Which this island was a forest. Let's get this green land. Come on, get a forest, please. Okay. I'm honestly surprised my opponent didn't block there. So I am going to be playing the Frilled Mystic at end step if my opponent doesn't play anything here for me to counter. Like, basically no matter what they play to counter, I'm countering. If they don't play anything, I'm not countering. Or I'm just playing it. I don't want my opponent to have Vivian. Like, I could play Vivian, but it could get countered there. They had, like, their, their mana open. I don't really want to play my Vivian into their counter spell. Alright, just draw the sixth land and play Carnage Tyrant. That's the, that's the plan here. At least I, I have Vivian. My Vivian can resolve, though. So, either way. Alright, well, we got Vivian going. Let's find some more lands for us. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Uh, I've seen squirrels hit harder. The wilds are my shield. Um. I think it's going to be pretty important for me just to continue to have lands for these hydroid crises, which is, as you can see, why I took this land. Survive. You'll see. Oh man. They play they play Vivian now after that. That'd be great. So that's six. Seven, so I can do a crisis for five and hold up disdainful stroke. Let's do that. How they use the, their find finality earlier is kind of telling that they probably have another find finality. I 
game's not ending anytime soon. Or is it? So four, and then one, two, three. Zoinks. That card's pretty good. I don't have Disdainful Stroke up now, but is that even a problem, not having Disdainful Stroke up? Probably not. <laughs> and Mass Manipulation is sweet. Yeah, like, what are we doing? We're playing different crises in our deck. We got foil crises and non-foil crises. Like, what are we doing? Alright, so they're gaining a bunch of life here. So I have five, eight. Oh, I meant like I. Dang it. I meant I wanted eight. Dang it. I messed this up. I meant eight total mana, not X is eight. No. Well. That's bad. It's not like we're going to lose this game bad, but it's like annoying bad. Okay, well that's gotten even more annoying. You can't stop nature. All right, so now I'm just kind of going towards Vivian Ultimate. Let's look for Frilled Mystics. We've seen one so far. They're looking for another Hostage Taker. Likely. That's rude. <gasps> Not dead yet. All right, so six, seven, eight. All right, let's do eight again. Now 
we have this frilled mystic. No, only if creatures are legendary can you not have two on the battlefield. It's a, you can have two mythics on the battlefield. If, if it said in front of this, if it said legendary creature, then you can only have one. So do I want to play Vivian, or do I want to have Frilled Mystic available? I was still doing this again, because we could have drawn an Entrancing Melody, and Entrancing Melody, one of these Wild Growth Walkers, and then attacked him with the Carnage Tyrants. Um... Do I want to Vivian? If they do have another find... Nah, let's keep mana up. Yeah, we can just Vivian next turn with counters up. Good, good call. So we have three, three entrancing melodies still in these twenty-one cards. We're out of crisis. Two cards in hand still. What you got over there, my galaxy? Yeah, we're down a game two. That's right. They had that really fast start game one. So they're at 23. What? Meet my newest friend. Ah, uh, Melody negate Melody. I don't put those on the bottom. That is not what I want on the bottom at all. Ugh. That's what I want to have in hand. So I wanted to find a Vivian. We can get back to those, though. We're only at 18 cards. We know the bottom three are Melody, Negate, Melody in some order. We can have Vivian help us get back to those, though. Mm. 
gonna have two fine finalities. Ugh, gross. No one knows the wilds like I do. Second find finality, because they I think their last card is a find finality, I think. I I obviously could be wrong here. Yeah, they could have also just been using the memorial, yeah, definitely true. So like, Krasis is like their better thing to steal, but Krasis does like, help them mill out more. Ugh. <clears throat> so last card was a disdainful stroke. All right, so we know our, we have, so we have three other cards and then we have Melody, Negate, Melody in here. So that's two of our Melodies are those cards. It is kind of hard to, to count these. All right, so one, two. Okay, so it's that one, that one, and that one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, till then. Sometimes restoration means retribution. I think I'm losing this. I think I'm milling out first. We'll see. Yeah, I, I don't have any more mass manipulations. I have three entrancing melodies. This hostage taker card is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> There's 12. We have we have two melodies in the bottom six. There's 12 cards here. There's another one somewhere else. Ha. I've seen worse. All right. So killing their hostage takers did not work out for obvious reasons here.
I really thought I was going to win this after I mass manipulated their stuff, but they just had the double hostage take, or sorry, the double wild growth walker jade light after that. And that, that double Wild Growth Walker Jade Light turn was perfect for them. But I guess I just shouldn't have let shouldn't have killed the hostage takers, just let Vivian take hits. I didn't go through hell to lose to you. Come to me. They don't need you, you up. Mike, they don't need that up. They stole my... F they can cast with anything. They don't need blue, blue up. I don't need blue mana. Where's our other melody? We still haven't found a, uh, a melody. Nine cards left. We have three entrancing melodies. We know Balance two of them are like cards. five and six, so it's like one is in the top, like these next three cards. So I'm going to be at 8. I can't take 8.
we've lost this. We're down to two. Now we are dead. Ugh. If we at least drew Entrancing Melody, what could we do? I don't know what we could do. We could do maybe something. Maybe not. Probably not. How this thing goes is up to you, pal. No one said restoration was painless. Finally, there's our first of three melodies. Come to me. Just play that and mill out. All right. Ended up with the loss there. Three and two for Simic Midrange. I don't think I played optimally earlier on in the game and was overconfident that I was going to be winning after the mass manipulation and it didn't happen. There's, you know, two, three, four different things. Go back and, you know, read, you know, would choose different lines if possible. Um, you know, like one one thing that really killed us was whenever I hydroid crisis, I counted my mana and I, you know, I wanted to spend eight mana on my crisis, but I said crisis for eight. And that meant that I didn't get to disdainful stroke a hostage taker on the crisis. That was a, a huge blow. Um, that was one that was just a, a clerical error, basically. Um, that was not a mistake that I meant to do. Um, and then, yeah, like there's a handful of other things as well in there. I'm not so like Wild Growth Walker for our opponent was awesome. Carnage Tyrant for us was pretty whatever. I'm not sure if I should be keeping in the, like, maybe I should just be keeping in Wild Growth Walkers. That's like a card that I've always kind of liked in, in those matchups. It's, it's a lot better when your opponent does not have Hostage Taker, you know? So it's going to be a lot better from our opponent's side how we don't have Hostage Taker kind of thing. But, it, you know, if it's something that I could have melodied, that would have been good. Um... But, yeah, so we went 3-2. Uh, positive record. And overall, the, de the deck felt good. And this is one that I would continue to play. And that I will be continuing to play, for sure. But for now, I'm going to move on to my other two decks. After these five matches here, we have Grixis Discard and Orzhov Angels to play as well. Um... So, yeah, I don't think there's anything that I'd want to change with about the deck for next time. I could see adding the second Mass Manipulation into the sideboard. That's, like, the one card that I could see going up to a second one. Um, our Mass Manipulation was amazing for us. It did hurt not finding any of the melodies and having all three melodies in those bottom nine cards. You know, obviously one time we saw a couple with Vivian tick up. That certainly hurt us that game. Um, so... Oh, well, close close second game. Uh, game one, you know, we got ran over by Jade Light, uh, but that's what we've been doing to a lot of other people at this league. So, it would not win River's Rebuke at all, no. Um, yeah. All right. So, if you're watching this video with about Simic Midrange later on on YouTube, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you for another.